That is pure quality, mate, isn't it? Got a little bit of a special tour for you today. And it's getting to like the magic 35 cm, which of what he's done up here as well. Depth, the body on that fish. Really want to see how big this was. Uh, Aki shower on the back here by what he's just telling me. Little bag of goodies. I said, I'm not going to make you rich on this transaction. I love his artwork. 61. So it's got hell of a growth ethic on that coin. Oh, man, I love a little measure up. Yeah, I love a oh, measure up. Buzzing. Seen a video of this. Professionally done, mate. And he does love a bit of stainless. But yeah, proper, proper quality. All right, thank you, sweetheart. That's about the right sort of number that you want to have a play around with as well, isn't yeah, it? And all the new core technology, so it's like a six core technology in me. No, and like, no, no totally. offense, I didn't have that money to buy no, two no, no. of those pumps. But, I... but Mrs. Whisperer, can I get one? What you got? Special koi all over the place here, ain't you? So I'm hoping a lot of you already know, but if you don't know, the koi soldier, Lee Adfield. We're having a bit of a tour today at his pond. Right then, welcome back to another video. James the Koi Whisperer. As you can see behind me, this ain't my pond. But I've got a little bit of a special tour for you today. Hope you can stick around for the video. Hope you enjoy the content, like the content. And I'm at the Koi Soldier's house. Bosh. And Mrs. Whisperer, what are you saying? Nice. It is nice, isn't it? One thing I'm just thinking, soon as I'm turning up here, the actual window, if any of you follow Lee's channel, the window itself is absolutely amazing. I was really shocked when I turned up. It does actually come up to the height of your hips. Seeing this pond in real life, the heat coming out of this room, where he's got it all insulated all the way across, because this pond is ran off air source heat pump. Take you inside his pump house in a minute, show you a bit of a tour what's in there. I'm well impressed. It's always surprising on the videos, when you see someone else's videos, the koi. Seeing them in person is a complete different aspect. And the quality that Lee has here is absolutely amazing. I mean, the quality of some of these, the yellow monkey down there, I mean, that is grade A quality. Real natural plants growing in there. Bit of the fern growing in the shower there. I love the artwork, what he's got on the back of his pond. It is a proper koi pond, 5,000 gallon. It's got the JBL auto feeder on the side. You threw into his pump house. I'm sure he ain't gonna mind. You never know, you might see some secrets that you don't know about. Running the big blue to start with. He's actually running two big blues. He's got a nozzle on it to control it. Got the stainless steel drum filter, the Profi drum. We'll have a little nose, see if he's been doing his cleaning. Little bit of a build up there, but nothing too much considering that he's feeding two and a half kilos of food a day. Drum just fired up. You can see how much waste that there is taken out. Absolutely tons of it. Quality equipment. To be fair, these are the best of the best. There is nothing that can beat them. They are the best of the best, but that comes at a price. This bile unit is amazing. Little tip guys, if you are having a drum filter, build your own bile unit, because you can fit it in exactly where you want it to go. I love his artwork, the Koi Soldier. And this is the view from inside of his filter house, or as he calls it, the pump house. I ain't gonna lie, I can see why he does a lot of filming inside of this pump house, as he calls it. Because the heat in here is hotter than what it is inside of the house. I could see myself sat here for ages watching the koi from a different view. And yeah, pure, pure quality. I love what he's done up here as well. The air pumps, all of the manifolds, proper sexy. And he does love a bit of stainless, you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie, he does love a bit of stainless. As you can see, TDS 100, temperature of the pond 24 degrees, pH stable 7.2. Some of his awards up there. These manifolds are incredible how he's done this on and off with the airflow that he wants to run. The Fuji's, Fuji Max at the top there. Proper nice air pumps. The Junior Koi Show, some of the prizes and awards that he's won. And you've got to love a bit of the Koi Soldier. So we're in for a treat as well, because Lee's got some new fish to show us. Mm. 
Mate, that's a stunner, isn't it? Oh, so this is Yamaguchi. When I, on my trip last February, yeah, yeah. I bought this as the Jumbo Tozai, probably about, oh, I'll have to look back, but big, close on 30 cm. And it went into the mud ponds and it come out in October when I was there and it come out at 50 cm and mate, it's incredible. I love it. Yeah, that is some special koi there. That is pure quality, mate, isn't it? What's he saying then, Lee? Okay, so yeah, 50 and a bit. So it hasn't put on much size since Japan, but then it's not really been fed in Japan. It's not really had a proper feeding regime up in the QT in Ryan's, even though it has been on a bit of food, but obviously enough just to keep it ticking over. But a fine looking fish that. I fell in love with that as soon as I seen it over there. Yeah. And I was on that winner-winner. Winner-winner chicken dinner and all that lot. Yeah. Let's go and see your new friends. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nice, mate. <laughs> Feel a bit special, a bit privileged here, actually, mate, with new fish going on. Well, I waited specially for you. <laughs> I thought, you know, it's not going to harm leaving them over there for two hours floating. So, the story about this one, this fish was so in... in in October, when me and Ryan was like floating around the mountains, you're floating around and you go past certain breeders and, and certain fish, they say, well, they do say the best fish never leave Japan, right? When you go to the breeders, some, some of them have got like vats outside on the road, right? With air stones in, right? And they're not for Ryan and they're not for me. What they're for is for local, local hobbyists. They're yeah, for yeah. local hobbyists that just compete amongst themselves in the mountains of Nagata and Ajia, right? Right, yeah. One day, Sakazumi had all of these vats out in October, lovely day, and I said, Ryan, I want to go there. He said, oh, that's hobby stuff, mate. I said, yeah, I want to go and have a mooch around. I wanted that. So that, to me, was divine. All the, all the, Dan, all the, all the Dans that's got, was it one, two, three, four, like five kind of Dans going down, I guess? Yeah. Have a guess what age that is. So that's not Tozai, that's Nisai. Yeah. That's Chipping Nisai, right? So basically that's that's two years old. It's been kept in cold water and pretty much not fed that much. And the reason I've got it is, uh, the reason the Soroji and the Benny look so crisp and so nice on it, because it's a two-year-old fish, but in a one-year-old's body. Yeah, you yeah. See where I'm coming from? Yeah. And, and that's a real good way to give yourself a real good chance at winning baby champion in one of the shows if you could keep it in size. Right. But it's 20 cm. At 24 degrees, I should be putting on 1 cm every week, 10 mil every week. So that, in 16 weeks, will take it up to about as close to 35 cm as I want to go. So if it, if it does power through and it's getting to like the magic 35 cm, which is the category for baby champion. So fingers crossed, I can power this one up to about 33 to 30, just under 35 cm. Now, my I've got a shower in there that I won baby champion with in Newark last year, and that was at 33 cm. So between 33 and 34, I think is a sweet spot, providing I can get the technical aspects of this koi all done. Little bag of goodies. Yeah, I got one particular one in here, a Sankey, which is my favourite. The rest are a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a shot, but in the dark. But what we got here, you can see the quality of those. Straight okay, away. mate, straight away, yeah. You know what I mean? They're insane, different, they? different level, mate. Isn't different they? gravy. So, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, certainly no speak? normal bistol going on there, is it? No, <laughs> mate, no, no. That that is made with yeah, meta tarsals of the best sheep that graze yeah, yeah. on the marshlands of the Gower. That would be nice gravy, wouldn't Mate, it? look at this. Yeah. Back fish. So the good thing with Koi Water Barn, Tony, Pitton and Kentro have grown up with each other, right? So Tony literally gets whatever he wants there. Yeah, so obviously Tony gets a pond and he gets literally, you know, Kentro's best stuff. Everyone else has got to run through the mill, mate. It's like gladiators trying to get, you know, Sakai's best stuff. But the beauty with Tony is, and Koi Water Barn, that they actually do get amazing pieces, just just like the whole pond. 
in the QT area in Coy Water Barn, you can absolutely get jewels. Like I wouldn't, I'd hate to think how much these would be if they were in, if they come from Odecan, for instance. So like, you know, they, they go in, there's a middleman and you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen how much the Sakai event in Odecan was. And trust me, if some of these were in there, I'd have to sell a van to get one, right? So all of these has come from Water Barn? All of these, yeah, these are from Water in. Barn, just come in. Yeah, the, 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 it wasn't an intention to get them, but when I realised that I was the first one to sift through something, I thought, here we go, we'll have a little play around. I'm having some of them, like. I know. So, <laughs> obviously, with the Sakai bloodlines, he's, they're really, they're, they're sanky and really to be desired, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, the one that I really wanted was this one. Look at the size. The no, head. Look at the size of the head on that. And also, look at where all the sumi is. It's called sumu sumi. So it's like really nice place sumi on the Saroji. You've also got some sumi coming up just on the top of the shoulder here, underneath the Benny. Yeah. It's got a nice head pattern. It's got a really big, it's, it's deep, it's big. It's, it's a yeah, nice yeah. koi. Um, he certainly had his pickings of some food anyway, didn't he? Yeah, so you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, and I, I, it just, it's just lovely just, balanced all the way through, isn't it? Yeah, already it's already lovely balanced. Already it, it looks already, neat. Yeah. So that there is a possible um, baby champion entry for me for the Newark show. Definitely. So obviously this is probably what, about, uh, I'd say about what, 11, 12 cm? You know, so I could definitely get that to you know, just under 35 cm in that time. Yeah. That's something special, isn't it? So this was 34 cm in October last year. This is the one that won Baby Champion. So I got this off Chip, um, off Rastacoy, old Chippy Boy. Yeah. That's what won the baby champion. That's the one the baby champion, yeah. And I've actually got a picture if you wanted to get it. I'll put it we'll it won the baby champion. That's really special that fish. I don't like it. I really like it. So there we are James. That there is a picture of the fish in August Avenue. Sorry, this is just me position. But I was worried that I was going to pay a lot of money for that fish and only be able to show it for one category. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what they're like, they young fish, it. young pretty fish make ugly big fish. Yeah. And it, you don't know, but it's retained all its qualities ready for this year. So I am absolutely buzzing with that. Yeah, I would be. You know, but look, just look at the sumi incredible mate that's proper isn't it it's proper isn't it it's yeah. a lovely fish and the motoguru is nice and dark and tight Saroji is good and what I was on about with a small one see these that little strips yeah it makes it look special just you know if that if that Saroji wasn't there that would be just too much it'd be too much white uh, uh, like Benny and Sumi there but that just really it almost it almost makes you see the like the three-step kawaku pattern yeah but then with that black just wrapped over it and, and like like sort of like it's just missed a bit do you know what i mean yeah definitely just so good beautiful fish so this is Issa. it's the head on that fish it's just yeah. sexy mate isn't it? yeah you know I mean? it's proper i know and um you know it's just when i went to Issa uh, uh with ryan just gone oh my god the pr the price that that would be in Issa now is yeah. a joke like, I, I wouldn't even be able to... And, you know, it wasn't a cheap fish when I bought it as toes, I'm not going to lie. 15, 53? 53 cm. 53 cm. Mega, that is. Yeah, I'm here, fatty. Is you going to get me the monkey? I'm going to get you the monkey. I just spun me out there. I just <laughs> seen three toes I went past. I was like, that way. Right, I really want to see how big this was. Um, I think it was 62 last time, if I can remember. <sighs> oh 
my days. Yeah. Look at the body on that. Wait there, Wilfie. That is a chunk as well, isn't it? That is proper something special right there, mate. You sure you want to keep that one? Ah, oh, mate, I've been offered. <laughs> A few people have offered to buy that, but they will have to sell their missus to get that off me. <laughs> well, Mrs. Risk, Mrs. Risk, Risk. <laughs> we're off to Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that is something special, mate. That is proper quality. And you've done you've done well with that fish because well, I remember when you first got that, it was it was a nice fish, but it you. It was thirty cm in July. Yeah. In July. Yeah. And I did say when I put it in the pond, obviously it got dwarfed, but I was at that this time next year that'll be the biggest fish in there and it is already, yeah. I think. Let's see what it is. I think this is too small to measure it, but I should have got a bigger bowl from um Southwest, you know. Look at it, it's just incredible. Yeah, so <sighs> yeah, so yeah, that, that must well be over. that must be sixty six. Yeah, sixty sixty six easy, you know, all day long. Day. You know, look how far yeah, the tail goes well over. over. Yeah, you're, you're that, easy, that, that well over. Even, maybe even more than 60. I reckon so, mate. Yeah, so yellow monkey. Proper, proper quality. That is a special koi. That is a real special koi. You don't see them every day. And I mean, give you a bit of an idea. The depth, the body on that fish is stunning absolutely stunning so this is a cool fish i should give you am really but then i can't no, film, no, no, you film <laughs> i can't take a film so I'm gonna yours. get mrs whisperer filming both of us with double phones <laughs> to be fair guys you wouldn't believe the quality in person when you're looking at these koi up close in a bowl when you can really see them Sorry, this one might just jump it's looking like she wants to jump so but yeah like i was saying you wouldn't believe the actual quality of these fish they always look special when you get them out and lee's got some absolutely amazing fish here probably some of the best in the country to be fair some of what i've seen myself personally now being bowled up He's definitely going to be in for a chance of winning some of the shows this year. And that's what it's all about, really. You sort of start off building a pond, you get involved in the hobby, and this is just proof of the pudding where this hobby can take you. Hey, hey, look shows out. Me, shows off me fulkering. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice quality koi that is. So there's a good story behind this one as well. It's an amazing looking fish. Right, so this one. Everyone remember the late old Keith Holmes from Coy Water Barn? Yeah, yeah. So about 12 months ago to the day, I went down there exactly like I did this weekend to purchase those and um, I bought some grow ones for the pond last year, if you can remember watching the channel. They done really, really well. I've got one in here. I've got one left from the 45. I've got a Maritan. I think it's either from Sakai or from Momotiro. I need to check my archives on that. At the same time, I scooped this up and it looked quite special to me. It was a little bit bigger. It was a little bit bigger than its peers in the pond. I think the other ones were probably about 20 cm. This was about 23 cm, but it was noticeably bigger volume wise and the pattern really stood out to me now this one was a really high grade koi picked by momotaro himself and it was um it was priced accordingly so it was a one-off do you know what i mean it, it, it had its own price yeah totally uh, i really liked it it was quite expensive i think it was it was like it was way over a thousand pounds right um however I really liked it. I picked 40, no, I think I picked 30, 15 other fish. And I said to Keith, I said, 
I said, come on, give me a deal. How much are those? And I said, I'll have that as well. Because no one would buy it because it's, there's a lot to go wrong in something with a pattern like that, okay? Now the pattern still isn't perfect, but the bigger it's getting, it's getting tighter, it's looking good, right? So everyone, because of the price tag, was put off by it. Uh, some of them didn't like, because you can see the head slightly dark there. Yeah, but yeah. It was really dark last year. That's going. That's, 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 that, that Saroji there is thickening up and actually disappearing. And it's on a lot of growth as well at the moment. Now, I'm pretty sure this is female. Yeah. So I can tell by the shape of that vent and stuff and the know-all brush that is female. Do you like that fish handling skills then? Quality, mate. That was, uh, that, was uh, that was a that was a lucky mistake. But anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to pick it up, but it just flipped yeah. over. I'm <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah. So Keith, give me a price. Smirked at me. Give me a price, and then I went, yeah, I'll do that. And then I worked out that he'd actually give me this fish for free. So he'd only charged me for the 15 other toes I. That was like full price, which wasn't even that expensive considering what they were, yeah, but totally. this was really expensive. And I was at that, oh, I like that brush, yeah, okay. And then I worked it out, it took me a little bit to work out. And then I looked at Keith and I went, with that? And he goes, and he goes, I really wanted to go to someone that will take it to the show. And I said, oh, there we are, you hit the nail on the head there, so I will. Didn't do much, I, it, it got a couple of bits and bobs last year, but nothing major, but I just love it. And I promised Keith that I really struggled getting rid of it because it kind of reminds me of Keith a little bit. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's got so a cool story, mate, behind Kawaku, that. So I call it Keith's Kawaku, basically. No, that's sweet, that is. That but is I think, nice I think, you know, the bigger that gets, you know, the, listen, the way that, the way the Koi shows are, I think, you know, size one, two, three, and four, every man and his dog can enter Koi. So there's a lot of Kawaku in those sections. When you get up to sizes, wow six seven and eight these koi for one reason or another stop coming to shows whether they got damaged whether they fall apart whether they just don't survive so i think that's when this koi is going to come into its own yeah do you know what i mean where Definitely. the numbers are thinned out and then this thing is going to be gracing a vat at 75 cm looking very unusual hopefully a bit tighter and competing with less amount of coin i think i think that's when this is if i can just keep the husbandry going on this yeah, yeah. and keeping it neat but it's never had a blemish scale or anything and, it, and it's just in my mind it's getting nicer and nicer and nicer so it is, mate and especially from a, looking down at the koi as well the pattern on that fish is very unusual it is mate but that's that is quality as well yeah it's lovely even even down to sort of like you know no, this section here and that section there sort of bounce off each other. It is definitely. It's got a decent backbone on it as well. It's oh. still got loads to do yeah. with this fish. You know, it, like I said, it's still it's got a little little um, part there with the dams and meat in there that might stretch, stretch, expand, and, and move. You know what I mean? But on average, it's 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 only going one way, which in my mind is better. Do you know what I mean? It's so we'll see. You know what I mean? Keep. Keith will be remembered, I'm sure, Definitely. from this. So, and I'm, oh, let me measure actually. 61. 61. 61. And I'll bear in mind that last year was a 23. So it's got hell of a growth ethic on that coin. Let's get yourself back in there. Oh, mate, I love a little measure up. Yeah, I love a oh, measure up. <laughs> and the best thing is, they're all mine. Yes! <laughs> right. Um, what should we get out next? Mm. Check out these little ones swimming around though. They've settled in lovely, mate. They love it, they? Yeah, they've settled in lovely, mate. They've never been so warm though, that's the problem. No. Absolutely yeah. loving it. I'm going to take out a fish that I'm particularly proud of now, and I'll tell you all about it. You going for the goshki? No. Nope. The goshki is nice. When Makoto in NND seen a video of this, he nearly shit Saki Akari. <laughs> the large pellet. The large pellet. Oh, there we are. Just okay. have that one on there. I'll have that and, uh, one on there. Get the last two nettings. Professionally done, mate. Oh, these things are so heavy now. What's that, baby? Let's get some water out here. Thank you. 
professional with my isopropanol, isn't it? You do, mate. You've got some skills going on. Tricks. Right then, so this is another quality koi. Absolutely stunning. In for a special treat here, to be honest. He's not just bowling all of his fish up because I come round. Just wanted to show a few. Bit of a koi appreciation, really. Just to get a bit of an idea to see what he's got in his pond. I highly recommend. If you've not subscribed to Lee, the koi soldier, Give him a subscription. I'll leave his, the link to his videos in the bottom of this video. But yeah, proper, proper quality. So yeah, I'm just basically saying to the wife, like the, the levels of koi that he's got here. It just shows in this hobby where you can start off, you can build yourself a cheap pond and you can just progress in the hobby and you can take it to the next level. And Lee certainly took it to the next level. He's certainly impressing me what he's got here. And it's, you know, not everyone has to go down the road of koi shows, but it can do that to you as a hobbyist. I'm personally something that I would like to try myself. And it's just a complete different level. It's not a cheap hobby to be in. And some of the fish that Lee's got here are mega money. But it's the way he looks after them, what he feeds them. He's developed these fish into something special himself. He's done it personally himself and um, that comes at a price but when you're not going out and you're not wasting your money on anything else and this is Lee's pride and joy a lot like mine and a lot like your guys this is just pure koi appreciation but Mrs Whisperer can I get one? No. <laughs> one day one day this fish that you're looking at here I'm not sure on the breeder Lee's going to come down and give us a talk on it in a moment but you can just see yourself the quality of this fish is next level i really like it super super happy about showing you guys this one super happy and about seeing it myself in person proper proper nice happy days That's quick look there's a bag down there look i'm sure he won't realize if i if i bag it up he's gone he's over there what do you reckon what do you reckon guys bag fish three minutes go <laughs> Nah, wouldn't even dream of it. Wouldn't even dream of it. But absolute quality. Lee's going to tell us a little story about this koi now. Right, okay. Here we go. So, some majors you can get given to you, which is pretty much that baby champion. Chip pretty much, I got that fish off Chip and he done all the hard work. I give him some money and won the award of that but this one had young champion in the same show now this one i bought last year again off the mud pond events from ricky at koi wholesale yeah, through yeah. exclusively koi um, it's an nnd shiro it actually was the number one fish in the event going into the mud ponds and fujio omo was saying actually it was the number one fish coming out of the mud ponds can't quite remember what size it would have been, but it would have been close to 50 cm. I got it back into the country. I took it to the national first of all, and it got a first, but it didn't get a major, right? Then I offloaded a load of fish from there, up the feed a little bit, and obviously less fish, they're gonna have more food. And in the space of, is it two months? Or I think it's two months in between the national and the Newark show, this came away with a major, came, a young champion. I think at the time it was, would have been 54 cm, I think, something like that. It was purely because of the feeding regime. It just, all it needed was more body, because Alan Tate was saying, get rid of some fish. So I got rid of some fish, and lo and behold, that happened. Um, and I couldn't believe it. So I'm really proud of this fish, from selecting it from that event, and then bringing it on in the pond over 12 months to be able to win a major, a major award. I was really quite happy with that. You know, obviously, that's not all due to my skill. That's due to someone like myself or you guys listening to people who've been in the hobby for a long time and applying, not not being, not being too big for your boots and not not taking advice. Yeah, totally. Do you know what I mean? Mate. You have to listen to people that's experienced. Yeah. You know, and that's listening to people like Chip, Ian Jenkins. You know. Uh, um, all good friends it's been in the hobby for a long time do you know what i mean so 
Every day is a school day, as Every they say. Every day is a school day. Okay, um, we'll put that fish in in a minute. <laughs> go on then, put it in. Put him in. Come on, put him in. Put it in then. No, just put it in the water and it'll go. Just drop it in. See, I think that fish will win the competition, Wolf. Look at that. That's, that's Wolf's fish now. It actually looks quite good. We'll it put does, it in the pond it? in a minute. Yeah. We'll put it in the pond. Do you want to go and put it in the pond? No. That's baby champion right there. That's good, that is. <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah, so that's why I'm particularly fond of this fish. Now, looking at it, if you go and look at um, the Koi Partners channel, in the last couple of days or last week, he put a, uh, a really, really interesting video, about half an hour of uh, Mike Snedden talking through Sankey. Absolutely mind-blowing information that everyone should see. And when he's talking about Sankey, he's talking about the Sumi development. And with the Sumi here, you can see the Sumi and then you can see the smudge underneath which shows the depth of the Sumi, which is a massive bonus. If you have that, so that's, obviously this needs to come to the surface to be able to show it more efficiently. Yeah. But no, that, that, that no smudge on the, uh, on the leading edge of the Sumi is a really, really high quality trait. Now, the NND Sankey are absolutely great. They are like, you know, yes, NND Sankey, good Sankey, well, all good fish demand a, a decent price tag do you know what i mean but if you can get them at nice at tozai if you pay nisai price at tozai and are lucky you can really get the nisai dream yeah the tozai dream sorry do you know what i mean yeah totally so, yeah yeah it's i mean of, even that comes at a price but you're still a lot cheaper than what it is yeah going yeah. out and buying a fish of this yeah. standard I, I, now I, I wouldn't like to think how much that would be no do you know what I mean? crazy um, money pro probably yeah i just because the three-step kawaku pattern, lovely. You've got the, I think you pronounce it, tajame going into the dorsal, in, into the pec fins there. Nice, clean dorsal fin. You know, nice placed siroji. A lot of it is sumu, so, uh, sumu sumi as well, which is all on the white. Yes, we have got the traditional, like, you know, on, on the uh, on the Benny as well, but it's still a nice fish, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it is, I, It's obviously grown a lot. I think last year in the Newark show, it was probably a lot more finished, ready for that 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 bracket because i've noticed there's a quite a bit more sumi coming up here i'm not sure if that was there last year but i've got the picture in there so we might take it out and see if this is if, if this was there last year but you know cool fish it is cool fish this man. measure it really quick doesn't it yeah 62 i'd say yeah 62 all day long it's nice knowing the history of the koi as well it's when, lovely yeah, yeah it's lovely yeah. knowing the history of the fish But the, the, the fish that I'm most, most excited about is that Sakazumi side. Yeah, yeah. Because it comes from the side of a road. Yeah. In a vat, in a bowl like that with an air stone in it. Yeah. If I can get that to do something, that truly is. Not the toes I dream, the Chibinisai dream. Yeah, totally, yeah. yeah. Well, when you're going for it now then, Shag? We're going to go for, this is Wolf's Koi. Mate, I love those little, those little, <laughs> those little toes I swing around, they're like Is this the one you've done at Koi Water Barn as well? Koi Water Barn, this So this event was with Keith at was, Koi Water Barn. Was this the Grow and Show event? This is the Grow and Show event, yeah. Mate, no um, way. £300 for a ticket. Um, and yeah, I, I, I didn't win the competition. I think it was uh, Jack Gardner got the best growth. Right, the yeah. Ball. I think he was at like... I think it was 58 cm and mine was at like 40, uh, 49 or something like that. But he was lucky because he picked out a female and obviously the growth on a female is going to, yeah, it's going to do this a little. Did he know it was going to be female or did he just take a chance? No, he just took a chance, do you know what I mean? But even still, 300 notes for a fish of that quality, what you've got there now, you ain't buying that for 300 quid now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not a chance. That's Tony, isn't it, Wolf? Mate, so many people would have buy that. And I, I, I so nearly just offloaded it for a few quid. Yeah, yeah. To uh, one of the guys that come to pick up some um, some Tamasaba today from Kamarthen down the road. Right. That's but, yeah. crazy how that's so, developed. Because I can remember seeing that when you picked it up. When you oh, first think, put it in the pond. I think it was like 28, 30 cm, yeah. something like that. Remember um, the videos. Last time I measured it, I think it was 62, I think. Or 60, I can't remember. But it's, it's, this is a male, you know what I mean? Like if you if you touch his, 
if you touch his dorsals there. A little bit rough. Oh, uh, his pec fins. Yeah. Rough. Jesus, you, mate, you chuck that at a curtain, it would stick. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all male, that thing is. Look at the body on Look it. Look at the body though. That's For a lot of Look people without that. knowing, you wouldn't say that's male by the no. body of that fish. That's why it's so deceiving to yeah. work out male and female. And look, look, the sumi is really good. And, and like, I know we've got some sooting and some speckling there, but overall, for a for a, uh, a hiyaturi, that's clean. Yeah, it is clean. You know clean, what I mean? Yeah. That's really clean, obviously. The problem with these are, in the show, they compete with shiri yaturis in the same class. Yeah, now, yeah. a shiri yaturi is a lot nicer looking finished fish, I think. But, again, you know, it, it, they can keep up. But, they, you know, even when I had a good shiro in there, this was the first fish that people that don't know about koi and they see it, they go, oh, look at that red and black one. I don't know what it is, mate. It yeah. gives them a, a semi. They love it. Yeah, well, love it's, it's a nice fish to have in the pond, isn't it's it? It's lovely, just yeah. A... But, um, yeah, it's just that. like, you know, you can't even put your... It's just a bonkers thing. It is, mate. Um, it's a really nice looking koi. And like you said, for 300 notes, what you paid for it. 300 notes, yeah. yeah. You ain't getting that. No. And you ain't getting that now for 300 notes, not no, a chance. No. But like, um, even in Shinoda, I spent a lot of time in Shinoda now, with the last like four trips I've been to Japan or whatever it is, I can't remember. This is one you picked out yourself as well. Yeah, out of the, out yeah, of the, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but if, if, if you, okay, so Shinoda's got loads of different size ponds, right? If you've seen that in the pond for the length size of this, 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 this fish would just, jump out of Shinoda's, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, totally. Obviously, it's just the volume of it, it's like cool, it's like nice. Yeah, it is, mate. It's a good fish, yeah, but... Um, That's pushing 65 as well, all day long. I know, mate, it's like, we'll see, we'll see. But I reckon <laughs> just, I've got a funny feeling, the volume now there, I don't think it's going to grow much more in length. I think it's almost finished its growth in length, and what's happening now, it's, it's filling out in volume, which is fine with me. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want fish in my pond at 75 cm or 85 cm. That's not my that's not my enjoyment. Yeah, yeah that's got to be 63. Easy, isn't it? Yeah. You know, if that hits 65, yeah, well, you'll be happy. It's a I'm nice, happy. it's a nice yeah. size fish, decent body on it. Mm. I mean, the depth on that when you see it like that, it's that's massive. really, yeah. really nice. Mate, it's almost looks like a common carp, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's quality. Yeah. Very tasty. Very, Very tasty. tasty. What else have we got in here? Massive fan of this farm as well. So this is a fish I bought from exclusively Koi last year at Tozai. Um, Look at the Jim Rin on that as well. Uh, yeah, bonkers. Nice. So I bought this at Tozai. Um, it came second to, to the baby champion in the in the in the um, uh, the national last year, it has had a tiny bit of pec damage, if you can see. Yeah, but they they they've they've healed up a little bit now. They they peeled away a little bit on transportation to the national last year, actually. Yeah. But lovely fish, isn't it? It is nice, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, anyone would be happy to have that in their pond. Yeah, mate. it's lovely. You know? Really nice, nice and clean. Mmm. Yeah, and the nice Jim is really something special. It's something and it's, it's it's really nice. Yeah. It's the nice patchwork of, of of the of it there as well. No, I do like that myself. Again, it's Ginrin, so it's never going to get massive. And I got a funny feeling. I don't think it'll get much more. It's going to get bigger, lo as in longer. It's but down I think, to preference as well with the size, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it don't have to be massive. It's of course, just, it doesn't. It, it just needs to be a nice looking fish, and that there is a is something special. Some people go, that's all they want is big fish, and that's yeah, fine, yeah. but... It's, it's the whole hobby in general, it's all different, isn't it? Yeah. Depending where you want to go with it, what you want to do with it. Mm. And this is just... Clean dorsal, that, that makes a massive difference, just a pure white dorsal going through, Definitely. cutting through everything. Makes the fish glow up this effect, doesn't it, really? Mm. It's yeah. got a really nice clean head on it. It is lovely, yeah. Nice fish, that is. Yeah, it is. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what the condition is like now towards the shows. But, yeah, a little bit upset with the pecs, but there's nothing you can do there. That's part of taking the risk of taking them to shows, well, isn't it? you know, yeah, when, you you, know, when you're taking them to shows, yeah, you know, thrashing around in bags and stuff, it, it can happen, but, you know, 
you know, the, the thing is, the fish can have, you know, 51 weeks of enjoyment in my hot, lovely pond with Saki and sacrifice seven days to go to two shows. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, they can go to someone else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the Definitely, moment. So, yeah. if I was a fish, I'd go, bag me. Definitely, mate. You know, yeah. you know, it is what it is. Everyone's got their different ideas in the hobby. That's it. I think, I think if it wasn't for the show, I think if it wasn't for showing in Japan, um, I think that, I think, I think the bloodlines wouldn't progress as much because people that show in Japan, like all the, all the, all the farms and all that kind of stuff and big hobbyists, they're the people that are, that are looking for perfection. So the breeders are actually pushing the koi to get perfection, which so is also pushing, yeah. it's pushing it like the right way. Definitely. Yeah, I, I suppose agree. it's like motor car racing, like in the, in the, in the early part of the century. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? If Ferrari wasn't there trying to make faster cars, then you're not going to see lovely Lamborghinis and Ferraris cutting around the M4 these days. Definitely, mate. They'd all be happy with a tractor. Nail on the head, it's just, yeah. <laughs> nothing wrong with nothing, a tractor, nothing mate. Nothing wrong with a tractor. <laughs> well, that's where Ferrari started. That's it, mate, yeah. Yeah, but it's, I think it's good for pushing the hobby in the right direction, you know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, what else have we got? Got some amazing koi here. How many have you actually got in here then, Lee? Because it's surprising. When you're looking 19, through this window. 20, I, think I've, I think I might have 20 there now, but four of them I've offloaded to some friends and they're just waiting for their temps to come up. And, well, they're not waiting for their ambient temperature to come up, but what they're waiting for is to have that... I think we're going to have a cold spell now and then at the end of this month, I think they're going to click their heaters on and come up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that's what they're waiting for. But to be honest, you know, I don't, don't mind the turnover of stock. It's quite, it's quite good, I think. Yeah, me? yeah. Because not that you get bored of them, but it's just nice. Oh, let's get this one. The best part of the hobby is buying new fish, though, isn't it? The best part of the hobby for Picking me, new yes, fish. is buying the fish. But the best part of the hobby for me is this. Yeah, getting Being them with out. with a friend and getting your fish out every quarter, every three months and having a measure up and have an inspection. And appreci mate, koi appreciation is quality, isn't it? Mate, I've yeah. been sporting a chibi nisai in my left leg for the last two hours. <laughs> I love it. This is yeah. what it's about. It's not showing off, it's just appreciating. And then yeah, yeah, totally. It actually bring, for me, I'm like that. Yeah, it's yeah, that's you yours. Know? You've done it's, that. It's, yeah, it's good, like you know. It's Definitely, nice. mate. I totally get that feeling. Just being proud of what you can do. That's all. Yeah, that's right. And I mate. love it. You know. But this is a this is an interesting fish as well. Like all my fish, I've got quite good little stories with me. But I suppose everyone's fish have got personal stories, haven't they? Personal know? stories are good, but it's yeah. good to share them as well. Yeah, this has got a really cool story and like a really cool medical story as well. Which would be interesting. I think I've said it before. But... Oh, he's definitely got you then, Shag. <laughs> I can't edit that bit out. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. That was because you were talking about what you had in your trousers, mate, yeah. a minute ago. Typical male Denichi, isn't it? Mate, but that is... See, that's what I like. <laughs> you just got to weigh this up a minute. What he's doing for us right now, look. Absolutely wet through. <laughs> Well, that's not happened before. Yeah, so obviously this is uh, Danichi male. Um, I um, I bought this off Ricky at Koi Wholesale um, through exclusively Koi. Obviously, he's not. He he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't sell to the general public. Um, but I got invited to go up to have a little look and uh, I managed to get my hands on this through exclusively Koi, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Bought this, I went to see it when it was 42, 42 cm, and because the first first national I went to, I wanted to put something of at least moderate size in the vat. Bought this fish at 42 cm, and he pretty much, the dunk on it, he pretty much said, yeah, it should stay in size, um, for like, you know, it should get to about 44 cm to stay in size for its, what was that, size four, I think, right? And I was like, oh, lovely. Took it back to the house and uh, lo and behold, it went to about 47 cm. So it didn't do much in the shows the first year because it was really small on the size of the, of the category. Um, and then I took it home and even though I'm heated, it just was littered with car pox. Like, and I mean, 
the mouth underneath, right, had like massive big coal sores hanging off it. It was gross, mate, right? It looked, and it was everywhere. It was everywhere. And I thought, oh my God, the fish is trash like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But you can't um, help carp hops, can no, you? No, but it's yeah. mad because it's 24 degrees, yeah, right? Yeah, shouldn't seen be that happening, before. yeah. Yeah, really interesting. So if anybody has got, but it was so, in fact, it, like, you can see, see that, oh, I, I don't even know if that was a mark, for, no, it, it's not, it, 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 it's strange. I really, um, I, was it car box? I don't know. It, it didn't look like particular car box. It was quite thick, gloopy. Yeah, it must've been car box, but you know, like the nodules underneath the mouth. Yeah, yeah, I know It what looked you mean, like yeah. skin. It looked like big warts, basically. I had that problem when I was about 19. <laughs> you can't be saying that on this channel. <laughs> a quick jab and yeah. they went. But, no, but yeah, it was crazy. The mouth on this koi looks amazing. Yeah, it's, it's good for a male again. It's yeah. got a nice body. For a male, yeah. You're, you're well over the 65, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, I think I'm pissing in the wind with this little thing. But I have got a new one of these that uh, I got made up in Japan, but I just haven't got... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to be 67 or something yeah, like that, I would have thought. Definitely. Boom. All going good so far. At the other side. I shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't have. That wasn't worth it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta be gentle. Do you know what, right, guys? When you unsock a fish like that through that netted area, you've always got to do it slow because if it comes out backwards, if it's turned there and it catches the front ray of its dorsal fin, boom, that's a rip straight away. Definitely, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it gets in there. That's, what, that's the only thing I'm really conscious about when I'm using those soft nets. They're amazing, but they, they have, can cause damage. As well, yeah. Even though they're yeah, pretty good. Okay, Wolfie. Well, right, so this fish okay. is one of the reasons why I bought a box of Yoshino Kawaku. Right. So I bought this on, on my trip in, well, a year ago, last, last week or whatever, right? Uh, about 15 cm. No, no sumi up on it at all. All I could see was like deep gray sumi, but the Kawaku pattern, if you can see, it's all at 45 degrees cutting through. Do you yeah, see yeah, it? Yeah, I can see you got that, that yeah. you got that, and you got that. And where I could see the sumi coming up was all on the white on the Soroji, which obviously is a, is a massively sought after with a, with a Sankey. Um, consequently, a few a bits have come up on the Benny plate, you know what I mean? But still, the sumi does still give it that lovely 45 degree cut, do you know what I mean? Which I just think is class. Yeah, you know? it's, it's, it's just a different level again, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. your eye can naturally see, oh, you know, your, your eye is a, a clever thing, mate. It, it, it can see linear lines and it can see patterns, do you know what I mean? Totally. Like yeah. Rain Man, uh oh. Yeah. It's, it's just nice to see It's the nice progression. to see it grow like that as mm. well. Having a small fish and develop into something like this. That's, that's where the beauty is with me. That's where the beauty is. The first is, totally. three years of a fish's life is... That's what it's all about, all isn't it? I'm interested at the moment. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? totally, that's where the mate. magic happens, and that's where you can see it happening fast. Okay, it takes three years, but in the koi hobby, that's yeah. kind of fast. Yeah, it? yeah, definitely, you mate. Mean? Yeah, I love Part it. of the reason why you got your grow on, isn't it? That's it, or that's it. On the way with the grow on. It just shows what it can do to you, this hobby, doesn't it? Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. It's um, when you get when you get into it and you get involved in it. Mm. It's a lovely hobby, mate. It is a quality hobby. You know, there's the budget side, and there is the budget side, and you can have an amazing time with this hobby on a budget. You don't have to spend big money. You know, uh, you know. And mate, I, I don't, I don't spend big money compared to like really big hobbyists like no. i spend peanuts compared to some people yeah definitely you know but you've you've got decent fish by showing people how to do it properly yeah. buy them small mm. grow them yourself buy them buy yeah buy them cheap grow them expensive definitely mate yeah that's and exactly the way to do it <laughs> yeah mm. but anyway this is a takano male sankey so ricky and ryan sourced this for me last year when they were on their hop uh, autumn harvest last year so yeah just over a year ago actually um well, a year last October, if that makes sense. Paid a decent bit of money. It's Takano, mate. His prices are absolutely bonkers, unless you send them a nude every now and again. But, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I tried to show it last year, but it's all head at the moment, yeah, uh, which yeah. is a good thing for the future, I think. Because if you can see, it's got mate, a head like a shovel. Has, and yeah. all the volume is up here. I'm waiting for the volume to come here. 
Do you know what I mean? And I think when it does come, eventually, that'll be a quite a spectacular fish. Oh, definitely, mate. You know? Mm. It's just proper nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Everything you're looking for. Sumi is good. Lovely dans of, uh, of Benny coming through. Again, lovely fish, you know? N nothing wrong with it at all. Is it male? This, I bought it as male. Yeah, it's yeah, male. yeah. You can, you can feel the oboshi on the, on the um, pet fins. But yeah, lovely fish again, you know? Um, it's kind of the sumi I like. I like the small patches of sumi. Yeah, I like In that. In fact, I prefer them smaller patches than this, but it's still quite It catches nice. your eye. In the pond, in the bowl, it catches your eye as well, doesn't it? Do you know what yeah, I mean? It's when it's nice. swimming around, it's a nice looking fish. When I started showing I was on a budget, I couldn't afford females. I still can't afford females, but that is a male. Bought it through exclusively, offered it to me, and I didn't like it because it was really thin. And they said, well, we're going to keep it for you because obviously it was in because they know I was showing it was in there. I've always trusted Kevin Ryan because it was always in their interest for me to do well in the shows. Yeah, definitely. Because obviously I'm showing their fish. Yeah, yeah, so it makes that's sense, what, doesn't it? That's what I understood. So they kept offering me this, but it was I didn't like the body. I was like, oh, I don't want to commit to that. Anyway, it's still not got a massive body because it's a male, but I got a funny feeling that this once it stops growing, it's going to get some. And because it's one of the first I bought, and I do like it. I, I've, I've not really offloaded it, but do, you can see it, it does need a bit of volume, but it's still a good fish, you know? Yeah, it's nice. Anyone would be happy to own a yeah. fish of that quality. Yeah. It's a really nice looking fish. And to be honest, it wasn't particularly expensive. I'm not going to measure this one, but I reckon it's probably about, again, probably about 66 or maybe yeah, a bit more, isn't it? I, I reckon think? so, mate. Yeah, definitely. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe about 60, I don't know. Yeah, maybe 67, 68. Got to be there, mate, I you reckon. Because I think this is an 80 cm bowl, isn't it? I would have said. Yeah, 80 cm from the top, so it, oh, right, it yeah. will be, yeah. So it's not far off. But yeah, nice fish. Again, NND, their, their Sankeys are it's, nice. It's very clean, mate, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, it's just lacking volume, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the fish I see in Japan, it's just, it's, yeah. You know, it's, it's not got my, like all my fish, if I could get my Karashi body on them, I'd be well chuffed, Definitely. but that's not going to happen on, on on some, you know, varieties or anything like that. I mean, what mm. the difference is, is when you've had some of the pure quality out to start with, Yeah. it's like, you can see the difference of the pure grade A quality, what you've yeah. got in there. Yeah. And you can see the difference here, but this is still a very high grade quality yeah. boy, without so, a doubt. So like the price I paid for this one at Nisai is now the price I pay for Tozai. Yeah, definitely. At, you know, yeah, and then yeah, a, yeah, and I a totally toes eye. At, at... What? He just said, don't tell the price. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Whisper, are you going to go make us a cup of tea? We would love a cup of tea. Well then, guys, so absolutely made up with the quality of this pond. I would like to take you down. I do apologise about the dark. We're trying our best. We got the ring lights out as well. But I'd like to take you down and show show you his grow on project that he's building at the moment it is next level it's looking amazing i've just been down and had a look myself but i'm going to take you down there and show you his grow on but it's an absolute pleasure here today speak you know lee showing me around showing you guys as well a lot of people probably already fo follow lee as well and um if you don't follow lee i highly recommend jump across to his channel he's got some amazing content and he's a funny bloke. He's a bit like myself. He does his videos a little bit different to the normal. I've been following Lee for ages. Um, I've been mates with Lee for a very long time. And uh, yeah, it's just a real, real good koi appreciation show day. And me just giving you a bit of a tour from my side of it as well to let you know really what I think about it. I think he's done an amazing job here. The fish that he's got is proper next level. I've already took like told Lee if he ever wants to get rid of any, give me a text. And some of these fish in here are really, really next level point. It just shows you where you can go with a hobby. I mean, this ain't Lee's original first pond. For the people that know, Lee's been in the hobby a few years now himself. Where I'm actually stood at the moment is where his old pond used to be. If you flip back on his channel, you'll see what his channel was. His old filter house, he used to run a Nexus. He used to have that in a filter house and they called it Mr. Miyagi's filter house. And it just shows where you can go with the hobby. It's sort of endless, really. And even this level where he's at now, there's still more levels there you can go to it. And it depends what you want from the hobby and what you want to get from it. And I mean, some of the some of the fish that he's got here are, are really amazing. I can see he spends a lot of time looking at the fish. He's really passionate about the hobby. He's very like myself. 
and um, yeah, if you haven't checked them out, it's about time you check them out. So that said, let's go and have a look at his grill on. Hurry up, Mrs. Whisperer. We've been waiting ages for this. Don't spill it. <laughs> Nice. All right, thank you, sweetheart. We've <laughs> got half a cup left. Cheers, my love. So, right, we're down in the uh, the sexy garage. Yeah, it's give a us... bit cleaner than it was. Mate, it's, it's lush. It's nice seeing it all. So, we've come down here for a reason, because he's got a bit of a project on down here at the moment. And um, I'm proper keen to have a look, and you run through what the plans are, what your ideas are, and where you're at, mate. All right, yeah, cool. So, anyway... Yeah, grow on. Told you, buy them cheap and grow them big. Grow them that's, expensive. That's the answer, This is what mate. you need. That's the answer. So I used to have one year before, and it ran really well. It was about 500 gallon. I've extended this now to, a. I think with that system, I think the whole volume of the pond would be a, about, if it was 500 gallon, I think it's going to be about 1,000 gallon. Right? Yeah, which is ample. to 1,000. More than enough to do what you need to do. It depends on how many toes are you want to bring on. Yeah. If I want to put 200 in there, it's probably not big enough. But no. with 50... Last time I put 40 in there and the, it was fantastic results. So this should do even better. And that's about the right sort of number that you want to have a play around with as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's enough. Because yeah. mate, it's, it's expensive. You don't realise when you're getting high grade toes eye, if they're 100 quid each, for instance, yeah, which yeah. is affordable for most people, but then when you times that by 50, yeah. that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. That's what you're feeding as well. That's in there. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Just yeah. in fish. Let alone, just on fish. Let alone feeding them yeah. to get them to where you want to get them to. Yeah, and then obviously if you've got a catastrophic problem, then that's a lot of loss. Do you know what I mean? So, but the, I was running this on an easy pod last year. This was my spare drum. <laughs> well, not, not a spare drum, but I was going to sell it. But then I thought to myself, it owes me nothing. And Keith gave it to me at a good price. And now, they, I think they're nearly five grand to buy now, but that only owes me, I think, three, which is still a lot of money for a it drum, is. like, you know, do you know, a filter. But, but it allows you to go away, doesn't it? If you're out traveling, mm. visiting, yeah. it's self looking after yeah. itself. And, and the good thing with this is obviously it's got like a Wi-Fi, it's all Wi-Fi box. So we've got this, all my other Wi-Fi stuff is actually up there. I'm still in the process of like concertina in all the wiring. So all, it, it comes with like a, I don't know, like a yeah, like a like a garden Wi-Fi controller that you control on your phone, and basically you've got these leads here, and these are the these are the, like the sort of like the the daisy chain part of it, which goes so that the the, the the power goes into this, then it daisy chains across to the UV sixty watt UV, and then it daisy chains then into the two new Awaz uh, pumps I've got. So uh, I was super lucky that Awaz actually. Well, yeah, really lucky that they donated me those to try to to give you guys like a, a heads up on how efficiently they run and all the new core technology. So it's like a six core technology in there, which is a different way that it um, uh, distributes the, the electric to, to obviously make the, the impeller turn. And they're, they're meant to be the dog's dangly. So but that is part of having a channel as well, field testing certain products for certain people and relating well, it, to people that might want to buy it themselves as well it, it is do you know what i mean so i've got a year with these products now to use them hopefully they'll let me keep them if uh if they if they do you know i'm quite honest if they're not yeah, going yeah. to do what it says in the tin i'll let people know and then probably a while will want them back but if they are good and You'll i really people. like them i'll either pay for them to stay there yeah. or i'll say please yeah we don't know but anyway that that's the that's the fact of the matter so it's good because it, it allows i can remember I can remember when I started off, before I buy a product, any product, I always really intensely search it and look for YouTube videos for yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. And I wish, like, if I was going to buy one of those, you, there's no YouTube videos on that because they've just come to market in January. Yeah, so brand new product. They're brand new product. So hopefully this gives people the insight to be able to go and buy that. Now, I've been told, I think those, pump, those pumps aren't cheap. Right. Don't quote me on how much they are. If you're interested, they're the 13,000 uh, Ecos uh, with the new Core 6 technology. Go on a WAS, find a rep and see how much they are. I haven't got a clue, but I know they're not. I know they're considerably more expensive than the uh, EA 30,000 equivalent, right? But I've been told by someone who's in the industry that if you run an EA 30,000 flat out all year, 
and run that flat out all year, you will save £800 on electric alone. So in theory, it's cheaper to start with. So in theory, it's yeah. cheaper to buy that straight But people away. don't see that to start they with, do they? That. They but don't see that. But not many people that. have got that money. No, And then, no, no totally. offence, I didn't have that money to buy no, two no. of those pumps. But I'm just the lucky people that have, there. We're there, you're testing it. Mm. And that's part of having a YouTube channel as well, is that it's about time some of these companies do help out people like me and you because you have spent your own money on that, like me, spending our own money on certain um, products and yeah. so all the fish. And it's about time it is happening to show people different yeah. things like what yeah. is on the market and what is available, really. But like, honestly, you know, everything you see that I've got, I've paid for. That's yeah, it. totally, and, and mate. I'm, the, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. I get told quite a lot of times, oh, you get everything for free in it, and I don't. It's the mm. same as you. Mm. But let's move around and have a look at inside the actual pond yeah, as well. Yeah, so I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll put the... Uh... Right then, so in here, this is Lee's grow on pond. He's got a lot of uh, work still to do. He's going to have a backy shower on the back here by what he's just telling me. Put a glass window in it because it come off his old pond. So he just as well use it, save blocking it up. He can keep an eye on the fish. Can check how they're developing, if there's any sores on them. A lot of people will say... Why have you put a window on a grow on pond? Well, he's got it all insulated here. He can shut the door up. Really easy to do. Leave the leave the pond all enclosed. It's going to be heated. And it's a perfect size grow on, really. To be fair, a lot of people would be happy to have this as their main pond. But for what Lee wants to do with it, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, so that there's the next level of sort of grow on ponds, really. I mean, it hasn't cost him loads. He's reused a lot of items. Like when he upgraded his drum for the other pond, I mean, he could have sold this one on, but he's a hobbyist, so he's always upgrading. And it's the sort of thing I would have done. If I already had the drum myself, I would have put a drum on it. You just as well put a drum on it. It's self-cleaning. Lee does a lot of traveling. He goes to Japan a lot. You know, he's, he's always out visiting different koi dealers, different shows, different events. And in the hobby, this here really gives him that little bit of flexibility that he can have a grow on pond. He's got his main pond. And it just shows that you can do things in what, however way that you want. But still got a lot of work to do. He was like, it's a bit of a mess down there sort of thing at the moment. Um, but it's all in the pipelines of it. That's the fun part of getting involved in this hobby. Doing grow ons, getting involved, changing, building. Even when you've built something, rebuild it again. But... That said, look, it's been an absolutely cracking little video here today with Lee. Mrs. Whisper is there. I've got some bits I'm going to give Lee in a minute anyway. I might do that on film. But if I don't, just in case my battery dies, what do we say on the video? Thank your mother for the rabbits. Thank your mother for the rabbits. Bosh. Over and out. I'll catch you on the next one. But what an absolute cracking pond and pond visit we've had today.